What's up, everybody? Dan the Man in the house. I want to welcome you back to Dan the Man's Weekly. Today is Wednesday, February 7th, 2018. And yep, we just reached yet another milestone. Dan the Man's Weekly is now 400th episode. And I say, yep, I have came a long, long, long way. <laughs> And I always know every time I shoot, I always count the episodes to make sure how many episodes I have made so far. <clears throat> Remember I said in the 100th episode, says, well, maybe we'll see in the 200th episode. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, but I did say that in the other yeah, 200th episode. And I said, well, it looks like I'll look for it for 300, maybe 400. And last time I said 300 and said maybe the 400th episode, we'll have to wait and see. And yep, we have waiting to see. This is the 400th episode. Can't believe I just made a milestone yet again. And if you guys want to catch the first 100 episodes and the links right down there, and want to catch the 200th episode or the 300th episode, the links right down there. Please check it out. <laughs> Man, I just came this far after three and a half amazing years, and I still keep going. Yeah. And with that, I just want to say, um, I want to send a shout out to uh, my 400th episode of Dan the Man's Weekly with a special thanks. So, so for those who send in their supports. So, I just want to say a uh, big thanks to the Dirty River Boys, Dusty Lowe. Joe Barone, Mark Ramos, Sorry About Your Sister, Bree Bagwell, Ali Esparza, Madison Livingston, Caitlin Dubrow of Loud Rider Productions and Family, Daisy Blue, Chris Baker, Chelsea Beth, Nicole Osborne, Austin Freeman, Frank Ray, Brian Mars, Abe Mack, Aubrey Michael, Brandon Bailey Johnson and Chase Bailey Johnson and Family, Andromeda Theory, Fall to Rise, Hot Shot Kicks, Restless Like Me, Cordova, Chris Kidwell of Not My Master, Mountain Vibes, Coyote Blue, Cactus Moonshine, Somewhat Lethargic, Fontetta Boogaloo, Javier Martinez, Katie Salazar, Nicholas Roach, Amalia Mondragon, Damien Wilde, Dub T, David Rodriguez, Austin Trout, Jennifer Hahn, Buzz Adams at the KLEQ Morning Show, Glenn Garza of KLEQ, Lisa Sanchez of KLEQ, Daniel Paulus of KLEQ, Rob Cal Brown of K Hey Country 96.3, Coach Cross, Coach Clark, and Jesse Pettit, and the rest of the UTEP Soccer, Richie of the Bar Wire Open Mic Series, Chang of the Three of Six Sessions and Ted Second Pistol, Sarah Walker and Sylvia Munoz of the Fontana Poetry Slam, Papa Joe and Mama Judy of the Mail Shop Vlogs, Victoria Molinar, Eric Acosta, and Aaron Stroud of What's Up Weekly, Sally Monzel, Candelaria, Kimberly North, and Chaz Wilson of the City Magazine, the Barahona Brothers of the Board Film Studios, JJ Nunez of Double Scoop Films, Lindsay Calson, Ricky T, among others from Zia Country 99.5 from Las Cruces, Lachlan Green of from Texas and Beyond, Sammy Campos of 90. 103.9 in Southern New Mexico Radio, Annie Perez of Annie's Adventures, Shane and Lizzie Martinez, Mike and the Moon Pies, Bart Crow, John Bauman, Jet and Callie Chavroni of Gleewood, Mayo and Randy Allenen, Ken Ebacher, Will Heron, Mark Vasconcelos, Kai Meyer, Jorge Cortez, Ivan Harris, Bianca Carrasco, Anthony Austin Brown, Otis Hicks, Adriana Lopez, also known as Adi Luna, Roberto Sepulveda, Haley Rose, Kenna James, Stony Iron, Jack Lutz, Eric Bossman, and David Mendoza, also known as Music Child of Star City Studios, Damon Devine, Sarah Blake, Daniel Anastasi, and Emma Hudson of The Dreamers Duo, it's uh, Maddie Sands and Chloe Kylie, Selkie, Selkel Val, and ABC 7's Estella Casas, and ABC 7's Doppler Dave Spielman. I want to say uh, thank you so much for very your support for Dan the Man's Weekly. And also, uh, thank you to the viewers. I appreciate your support. And we'll keep the episodes going. Alright. Man, 400 came a long way. <laughs> Man, like I said, I always give you the heads up when the 400th episode is coming. That's why I said so in the very beginning of the year. 
All right, and now um, the moment you all been waiting for on the day of Saturday, February 17th. That's next Saturday. So, will I go to Las Cruces for the Blake Shelton concert? Or will I go to the Don Haskins Center for the Austin Trout and Jennifer Vaughn fight? So, here it is. I review you the ticket. Yep. There it is. So, I decided to go with my original plan. So, <laughs> Everybody was thinking that it was sold out, so I did some double checking. And so, here it is. So, I'm still going with my original plan. I'm going to see Blake Shelton next Saturday. So, yeah, I know it was a tough decision. Well, you know, Blake Shelton announced it, and it was next Saturday. But then, that's when three weeks ago, when Austin Trout and Jennifer Hahn announced their fight on the same night of Blake Shelton. And now, this is where I was torn. But when I thought it was sold out, but I did some double checking. And yeah, there was only a single ticket available. And then, <clears throat> that's where um, I wanted to see Blake Shelton. And, but the thing is, I do want to see Austin Trout fight. I saw Jennifer Hahn fought last year and she successfully succeeded. And, <laughs> well, but I like Jennifer Hahn. Well, I wanted to see them fight again. But after some a lot of suggestions from friends of mine and couples we know, uh, I was asking for some opinions and then and so, after a tough decision, I decided to stick with my original plan to see Blake Shelton. There's a chance I'll see Jennifer Hahn or Austin Trout fight another time. So, and with that, um, to Austin and Jennifer, I'll make it up to you guys. So, um, consider yourselves that I owe you guys one. So. so, Austin, Jennifer, I wish you all both um, good luck. I hope you win this one too. And don't forget, not only Austin Trout and Jennifer Hunter are fighting, but we also got the main event, Ortiz versus Alexander. It's the guys, HBO's gonna record this one, so so buy your tickets if you plan to attend there. So don't forget, Je uh, Austin Trout and Jennifer Hahn will be fighting, and plus the main event, Ortiz versus Anderson, next Saturday on so it's at the Don Haskins Center. So tickets are still available, but I can't wait. I can't wait for Blake Shelton next Saturday. Okay, and just to let you know, we are one week away till Valentine's Day slash Ash Wednesday. And before that, in six days away, Mardi Gras. Yep, Fat Tuesday is coming. <laughs> so, who's ready for Mardi Gras? And um, any of you love birds out there, who's ready for Valentine's Day? And just to let you know, I'm doing the, yet again, the Valentine's Post Countdown on face on my Facebook page and Instagram. So, you guys are going to like this one. So, please check it out. Oh, no, yeah, I need to post I need to post uh, the other one because we're about a week away till Valentine's Day. So, can't wait. And look what I have here. Yep, there'll be another bunch of bunch of roses. All I have here is a dozen, but I'm gonna get some more. So, and uh, for those of you who did receive my roses, you got you ladies are very welcome. And just like I said, um, I have a a complete list of the those who I'm gonna give roses to. So just to let you know, I got some more roses to give. <laughs> so I got a week away till Valentine's Day. So why not consider it early? So, just be aware. Alright, and um, as you know, let's recap the ninth birthday tribute from yesterday. Uh, it was the ninth birthday tribute to uh, singer-songwriter of El Paso and regular Fee Wombs. She is Roberta Sepúlveda. 
Yeah, and uh, I know it was kind of a little bit of, spo I know it's kind of a little spoiler for her that she always got just, uh, she knows about the shoutouts, who is and froms. And there's some, uh, there's some shoutouts she doesn't know, but it was just a kind of a surprise. But the, the poetry and the, and the birthday poem of Facebook, that's the surprise for her as well. And, and I gotta say, she really loved it. And last night, I saw her at b -Wom's. Yeah, amazing performance. And she praised my birthday tribute. I gotta say, um, you're very welcome, Robbie. Yep, so again, happy birthday. And the link's right down there. Please check it out. If you have not seen the ninth birthday tribute to Roberta Sepulveda, please check it out. And don't forget, the pre before Roberta, there's the previous eight. Uh, you remember the birthday tribute to SoCal Val? And Brie Bagwell. And Victoria Sinclair. Madison Livingston. Caitlin Dubow. Elia Sparza. Adriana Lopez, also known as Adi Luna. And Bianca Carrasco, also known as Bianca Donks. Yep, and now, Roberta Sepulveda. Yep, those are all the nine birthday tributes so far. Okay, but rest assured, there will be a number 10 birthday tribute, so I will keep you guys posted. So whenever's the 10th birthday tribute, when it's confirmed, I'll let you guys know, okay? Yeah. Even if it's going to be confirmed, I will announce it, but again, it will be a surprise, just like how I did with um, with Victoria Sinclair. Yeah. You know the first two, I, I announced it ahead of time, but then I, I succeeded, and just like I said... I still want to keep this as a surprise. So, that's like I said. Again, I'll keep you guys posted. Okay. And, again, happy birthday, Robbie. Okay, let's go ahead and switch gears now. On to the recap from last Sunday, Super Bowl 52. Did anybody catch the Super Bowl 52? Well... As you know, um, the Philadelphia Eagles and the New England Patriots, yeah, they fought since the second time since, um, uh, I can't remember which one which one they first faced off a few years back. I um, can't remember. But anyway, just to let you know, um, yep, the Philadelphia Eagles defeated the New England Patriots 41-33, and they are, they are the Super Bowl 52 championships. And it is their first Super Bowl championship in the franchise history. So, so I say congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles. So fly, Eagles, fly. And there were some mixed reactions on Justin Timberlake's Super Bowl performance. But I gotta say, it's a good performance. And and I like the way he did uh, the Prince tribute. It, I noticed the Super Bowl took place at the U.S. Uh, Bank in Minneapolis, which um, Minneapolis is Prince's hometown, so that's why Justin Timberlake uh, paid tribute to Prince. It was nice. And still, there were some mixed reviews over some critical reactions. I have no idea why. Leslie Odom Jr. did the performance, American the Beautiful, and Pink did a national anthem. That was very nice. And just so I was getting to the Super Bowl commercials. Did anybody see this one? So I have the list right down here. So <laughs> yeah, there's Mass Mutual, the Stand By You. Oh, that was nice. And the Pizza Hut <laughs> featuring Tara Owens. <laughs> That's weird. And then there was Lionel Richie in the TD America Trade. <laughs> Then there was the robots in the Sprint commercial. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> and the Turkish Airlines with Dr. Oz. I like that. And then the Bud Light Night. <laughs> I think it took place during the medieval times. It was so funny. The battling for 
Bud Light. Then there was the Bud Light Night. <laughs> Weird. And then the M and M's. The he said he wished the red wishes he was human. Then he ends up like Danny DeVito. <laughs> That's weird. Then there was the Vikings and the Ram commercial, and they said they're headed to Minneapolis to to see the Super Bowl. This is tonight's matchups. Oh, probably they didn't know the Vikings lost. <laughs> weird. Then there was uh, Peter Dinklage and Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yep, in a in a Doritos versus Mountain Dew commercial, and yep, Dorito. And Peter Dinklage rapping with Busta Rhymes, and then Morgan Freeman and Mount, uh, mouthing uh, Missy Elliott. But <laughs> it was unbelievable. <laughs> and then there was uh, David Harbour in a Tide commercial. Yeah, he said, "No, it's a Tide commercial." And every single, every single Tide commercial, especially he made an appearance in the in an Old Spice commercial. But <laughs> it turns out, it turns out David Harbour again Tide commercial. <laughs> That's weird. Then there's Keegan Michael Key in a rocket commercial. Then, um, then the Pringles with Bill Hader, and then you mix the barbecue, the pizza, and then the chili. Eh, that's nice. And the Febreze commercial. Then Chris Pratt in the Michelob commercial. And then there's Keanu Reeves in the Square Base commercial. <laughs> And then there was a Turbo Tax that they thought to be a, a horror film, but then it said, no, don't kill me. And then it turns out to be a little harmless little um, teddy bear. <laughs> That's weird. A Turbo Tax commercial. <laughs> yeah. Then Danny McBride and Chris Hemsworth that we thought to be a, a, a sequel to the Crocodile Dundee commercial, but no, it's a, an ad to the Australia.com. Weird. <laughs> Then there was um, Eli Manning and o and Odom Beckett Jr. in a uh, in a time of your life commercial and <laughs> this is like a scenes for like a dirty dancing scenes. Then there was this is Pepsi and then <laughs> and as you see Jeff Goldblum in a uh, Jurassic in a Jeep commercial but then <laughs> it's going it's like a repeat of the Jurassic Park <laughs> but that's weird <laughs> but that's nice. Then, then this is Pepsi, then this is Pepsi, this is Pepsi, and then Jimmy Fallon narrating that one. And then Verizon Wireless dedicating the first responders and saying thank you to the first responders like um, like uh, Hurricane Harvey or the earthquake in Mexico, all of these things. And it's a, it's a very nice dedication to the first responders. Steven Tyler in a Kia commercial. Wow, driving backwards, going back in time, feeling like he's the younger self. <laughs> Then all oh, the lovely babies in in the T-Mobile commercial. Then it says be celebrated, not tolerated in the uh, Black Wild commercial. <laughs> and then there's the uh, the Wix commercial with Rhett and Link. Then the uh, craft with all the families out there. Nice. And Martha Stewart and and, and Jack facing off in a Jack in the Box commercial. Uh oh. <laughs> He's starting a hashtag. Yep. Then Tiffany Haddish in a Groupon commercial. Then then uh oh yeah uh, Alexa lost her voice. Then he had to temporary replaced by Gordon Ramsay. Um. Cardi B, Rebel Wilson, Anthony Hopkins, and oh yeah, Leslie Jones. <laughs> That's weird. Then Peyton Manning at Universal. <laughs> That's nice. Hope he enjoys that one. And Andre Cantor and the soccer promotion. That's nice. And Matt Damon and the Stella Audrey's commercial for the water. Then, um, what else? I mean, Ty, Ty Burrell and the Turbo Tax commercial. Yep. Then, um, then, oh yeah, Black Panther and the Lexus commercial. Then David Schwimmer and the Skittles commercial. And then the Elevator and the Mo Motorola commercial. <laughs> Man, that is weird. And, oh yeah, I'll never get the Taco Bell commercial that thought to be a, a spy drama film. And it's called the Nacho Fries. And it's featured Josh Duhamel in this one. <laughs> Man, that was unbelievable. Well, if you guys want more of the Super Bowl commercials of uh, Super Bowl 52 from last Sunday, all of it, uh, Google it if you want, and uh, let me know if I missed something, okay? Because uh, I'm sure I got everything written down, so... Well, that's just that's it. <laughs> that was unbelievable commercials. <laughs> yeah. And, again, congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. All right, switching gears now. Well, last Saturday started the Sun City Battle of the Bands, round one. And 
at the end the Anhedons, feet of friends uh monroe eye of the bermuda fasting colors and aurora underwater they just they just battle out for the performances so therefore no, what, I have no idea who won this one, so I believe so. But one, maybe two, will move on to the round three, which will be next Saturday. And this coming Saturday will be round two uh, for Star Sun City's Battle of the Bands. Will be Daiso Dance, As the City Sleeps, Soulful Gentlemen from the Skin and Bones, Cloud 49, and Rock and Roll Cartel. So they're going to be taking the stage round two. So one of the winners will be, or maybe two, will move on to the round three, which will be semifinals next Saturday. And in two weeks from Saturday will be the final round. So who will win the battle of the bands for the Sun City? So, so don't forget Sun City of Battle of the Bands. Round two will be this Saturday at the Love Buzz. So please check it out. Then next Saturday will be the semifinals. So don't want to miss it. And in two weeks will be the final round. So good luck to all the bands out there. Okay, switching gears now. As you know, um, the Dirty River Boys are coming back. They'll be at Speaking Rock this Saturday. And, yep, <laughs> there's a boomtown on the rise. <laughs> and tomorrow, the City Magazine will reveal its February issue. Just like how last month, oh, and then December, they revealed the best of 2017, and that's how they do. So, therefore, tomorrow, the City Magazine will reveal its February issue. So, I look forward for that. We will be on the cover. We'll have to wait and see. All right, switching gears now on to the recap of the 306 sessions. As you know, Zyme Warren made his return to the stage, and yep, amazing poetry and rap and some of little comedic stuff. But man, it's good to see Zyme Warren again. Also, the Sky Captains. And Sam Doctor, they just took the stage and, yep, praised out yet another performance. And as you know, this was yet again the live television taping again. So that's uh, season three is still underway, and yep, just new episodes will be coming this Saturday. You guys, do not want to miss that one. Okay, and just to let you know, there'll be a yet another live taping this coming Sunday, and probably it's for Valentine's Day. And the lineups has not yet been announced yet, so want me to talk to Chang. All right, so just keep post on the 306 Sessions concert series. All right, switching gears now. On a sadder note, actor John Mahoney, you know him as the blue-collar patriarch Martin Crane on the NBC hit series Fraser, <laughs> like you know the dad of Fraser Crane and Mar and Niles Crane. <laughs> And I know he has a recurring role as Roy in the, in the TV series Hot in Cleveland. And I know he's been on several films, including Code of Silence and The Manhattan Project, Suspect, Tin Man, Moonstruck, Frantic, Betrayed, Eight Men Out, Say Anything, The Russian House, Barton Fink, Article 99, In the Line of Fire, Striking Distance, Reality Bites, Hut, The Hut Sucker Pro Proxy, the American President, Primal Fear, She's the One, Dan in Real Life, and Flipped. And I know he he lent his voice as the voice of Greeds and Ants and the General in the Iron Giant, and he was Preston Whitmore in Atlantis, The Lost Empire, and its sequel, and as Pappy in Croc's New Groove. Well, as I say, an amazing act, an amazing actor on television and mostly films, especially stage and work on Broadway as well. Sadly, John Mahoney passed away at the age of 77. So, rest in peace to to the Martin Crane of Frasier himself, John Mahoney.
Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Alright, and so I'm going to say the shout outs to, with a special thanks yet again. I'm going to say special thanks to the Dirty River Boys, Dusty Lowe, Joe Barone, Mark Ramos, Sorry About Your Sister, Bree Bagwell, Elliot Esparza, Madison Livingston, Caitlin Dubow of the Love Writer Production, Daisy Blue, Chris Baker, Chelsea Beth, Nicole Osborne, Austin Freeman, Frank Ray, Brian Mars, Abe Mack, Aubrey Michael, Brandon Bailey Johnson, Chase Bailey Johnson, Andromeda Theory, Fall to Rise, Hot Shot Kicks, Restless Like Me, Cordova, Not My Master, Mountain Vibes, Coyote Blue, Cax Moonshine, Somewhat Lethargic, Fontetta Boogaloo, Javier Martinez, uh, Katie Salazar, Nicholas Roach, Amalia Mondragon, uh, Damian Wilds, Dub T, David Rodriguez, Austin Trout, Jennifer Hahn, Buzz Adams of the Kayla Q Morning Show, Glenn Garza, Lisa Sanchez, Daniel Palos, Bobcat Brown of K Hey 96.3, Coach Cross, Coach Clark, and Jesse Pettit, and UTEP Soccer, Richie of the Barbara Open Mic Series, Chang of the 306 Sessions and 10 Second Pistol, Sarah Walker, and Sylvia Munoz of the Fontana Poetry Slam. Papa Joe and Mama Judy of the Merrill Shop Blogs, uh, w Victoria, Eric, and Miss Stroud of What's Up Weekly, Chelly Mozone, Candelaria, and crew of the City Magazine, uh, the Barahona Brothers of the Bourne Film Studios, JJ Nunez of Double Scoop Films, Lindsay Calson, Ricky T, among others from the Zia Country, Lachlan Green of from Texas and Beyond, Sammy Campos of 103.9, Annie Perez from Annie's Adventure, Shane and Lizzie Martinez, Mike and the Moon Pies, Bart Crow, John Bauman, Jet and Callie Scafoni of Gleewood, Mayo and Randy Lennon, Kenny Bacher, Will Heron, Mark Vasconcelos, Kai Meyer, Jorge Cortez, Ivan Harris, Bianca Carrasco, Anthony Austin Brown, Otis Hicks, Adriana Lopez, also known as Adi Luna, Roberta Sepuveda, Haley Rose, McKenna James, Stony Iron, Jack Lutz, Eric Bossman and David Mendoza of Star City Studios, uh, Damon Devine, Sarah Blake, Daniel Anastasi, and Emma Hudson of Dreamers Duo, Maddie Sams and Chloe Kylie of and Selkie, so SoCal Val, and ABC 7's Estella Casas, and ABC 7's Dr. Dave Spielman. Thank you so much for, for your great support of, of Dan the Man's Weekly. Appreciate it. Okay, here's a shout out to Emily Davis, the Yarborough Band, Vince Alton, uh, Kiki Mora, Jupiter's Junkies, Frenzy, Hereafter the Wave, uh, Pro Davis, E Money, CW Ion, Rex Wade, Ross Fleming, Laura Corral, Christina Mitchell, and Brian Don Shepard, okay, also Fabian Chacon, Elemental, Juju, Andrea X, Anthony Ryan, Aurora Tarango, Stephen Rojas, Beverly Longoria, Brian Seeley, Hayden Brundle, Jenny Robbins, Ozzy Munoz, uh, Chris Robinson, Brittany Pixler, George Sway, Kenny Granville, also known as Blessed Eye, Liz Lano, Rachel Marie, Nathan Vasquez, Leroy Morale, Chauncey Los, uh, Christian Alvarado, Phobia the Prophet, Cecilia Tate, Katie Taylor, and Wise Weapon. Also, Celia Aguilar as well. So, shout outs to them. So, also, um, to Dusty Lowe, great performance last um, Thursday at the Dusty also, Daisy Blue, great performance last Friday at the Amara Winery. Also, Feet of Friends, great performance at the Battle of the Bands last Saturday. Okay. Also, Zyme One, Stan Doctors, and the Sky Captains. Great performance at the 306. Okay. Also, to Julian Smith, Carla Zabeda, and the rest of the performance at the 306. Great performance. And to Carly Gray, Jace, and Harley. Shout-outs to them. Also, shout-outs to uh, Robert and Sepulveda, 
Um, happy birthday, Robbie. Also, Liz Lano, Celia Aguilar, um, Leroy Morrell, and Jinx, and Dominique, um, DJ, and Danny Perez, and, and Chuko, and among others. Just want to say, um, a great, nice performance at the, Bob, at the B-Woms last night. A happy anniversary to Lindsay and Mauricio Castillo of five years. So, Lindsay, Mauricio, happy anniversary. A big congrats to Tori Anza and her husband Andy. They just had their baby boy, Alexander. So, Tori, Andy, big congrats, Mom and Dad. Also, big congrats to Jill Barrett Given. She and her husband Sam, they just had their baby girl, Annika. So, Jill, Sam, big congrats, Mom and Dad. A big congrats to Jess Autry, she and her husband, uh, Matt, they just had their baby girl, Faith. Jess, Matt, big congrats, mom and dad, and also to, also a big congrats to Javier Villarreal and his wife, Sarah, they just had their baby boy, Leonardo. So, Javier, Sarah, big congrats, mom and dad. Okay, let's go ahead and get to birthdays. Birthdays from yesterday, Roberta Sepúlveda, yep, um, so I just say a big happy birthday, Robbie. I hope you enjoyed the birthday trivia I made for you. Don't forget, if anybody missed out on the birthday tribute, the link's right down there, so please check it out. Again, happy birthday, Robbie. Okay, birthdays today. Kimmy Hollabach, Kimmy Long Time, happy birthday. Janet Amador, Janet, happy birthday. Best your family. Justin Dillon and from Francisco Sanchez, happy birthday. Birthdays tomorrow. Meyer Singer, Meyer Long Time, happy birthday. Best your family. Rossi Ann Sines, Jim Marshall, and Jesus Ordonez, happy birthday. Birthdays Friday, Howard Harris, Howard, long time, happy birthday, best to your family. Amber Hagen, Amber, long time, happy birthday. Go D-backs. Paul Masters, Paul, happy birthday. Tell Lauren I said hello. Henry Ramos, Chris Rascom, and Rhino Martinez, and Kirsten Klingstead, happy birthday. Birthday Saturday, Jamie Crawford Vasquez. Jamie, happy birthday, uh, best to your family. Bree Thomas, UTEP Soccer, number two. Hey, Bree, long time. Happy birthday. Prissy LePew, Prissy, happy birthday. Kelly Kern Agayo, UTEP Softball, number eight. Kelly, long time. Happy birthday. Best your family. Garrett Davis Rogers, uh, Garrett, long time, happy birthday, and Helen Vargas of Dulce Mall. Okay. Helen, keep up the tunes, my friend. Happy birthday. Birthday Sunday, Kyle Pepper. Kyle, happy birthday. Best of the family. Brittany Vaca Gilmore, UTEP Soccer, and Abilene Christian, both soccers, number 15. Well, Brittany, happy birthday. Best to your families. Crystal Hernandez Harlow, hey Crystal, happy birthday. And best to the family. And Vicky Adame, happy birthday. Birthday's Monday, Patricia Veronica Salcedo. Patricia, long time, happy birthday. Best to your family. Casey Bentley. 
and Anthony Ryan, happy birthday. Birthday's Tuesday, Jacqueline Dubow. Hey, Jackie, long time. Happy birthday. My best to tell Mr. and Mrs. Dubow I said hello. Best to your sisters. Vanessa Ruiz Zunica, hey doctor, happy birthday. Uh, tell Marco I said hello, my best to Mateo. Madison Poe, Maddie, long time, happy birthday. See you at Asatunas next weekend. Uh, well, in two weeks. <laughs> Gideline Amariz Calderon, Caitlin Edwards, Marco Garcia of 7th Avenue Band, and Wesley Warren, happy birthday. Birthdays next Wednesday, Valentine's Day. Margaret Hadley, UTEP Soccer number 5, Margaret, happy birthday. David Victor Ramos, Sinclair Rottenberry, Aaron Rippinger, Sarah Estrella, Buddy Lopez, Link Munoz, Maria Esperanza, happy birthday. Birthdays next Thursday, Brandon Fowler, Don West, and Gerard Barunda, happy birthday. And birthdays next Friday, Renee Corbin, Renee, happy birthday, my best of the family. Camille Pulundo, Camille, happy birthday, best of the family. Clayton Franklin Bird, Barbara and Tabby, and Andrew Luisi, happy birthday. Okay, and yep, that's all the birthdays for right now. Okay. Man, I just want to say, 400th episode. Yeah, like I said, I have reached a milestone. <laughs> well, just like I said, we'll probably see you in the 200th episode, maybe the 300th episode, and, and like I said, if maybe the 400th episode, well, this is the maybe, all right. <laughs> Again, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for the very strong support of Dan the Man's Weekly for three and a half years. Amazing years. I look forward for the fourth anniversary of Dan the Man's Weekly. We'll be in six months. That will be August 25th. You guys do not want to miss it. <laughs> but in two years, I'll make it five years. <laughs> And yep, I'll probably see you on another 100th episode, which will be the 500th episode. Well... I'll keep you guys posted and keep the episodes counting. Alright? Okay. And also, to you, the viewers, thank you so much for all the strong support. And keep on watching Dance Man's Weekly. Alright, you'll all have a great rest of the week and the weekend. I'll see you either Mardi Gras or Valentine's Day, which. Whichever comes first. I don't know. I'm stuck which one I'm going to film. We'll have to wait and see. Man, after 400 episodes, we're still counting. Y'all know what to do. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Message me. Like my page on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe me on YouTube. Hashtag Dan the Man's Weekly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is Dan the Man Tennessee. Signing out.